to Parrot Pinterest Palooza, Fall Palooza. I don't even know what I called this thing. Thank you for joining me, everyone who is joining me for this fun craft week. Basically, if you don't know what's going on, this is the first video that I'm posting for my Pinterest Palooza. Basically, through the 4th, which is today, all the way through the 11th, I'm going to post one Pinterest craft that is related to fall, and I'm going to be posting a tutorial on it each day. So the 4th through the 11th, you're going to have a tutorial from me each of those days. Once again, welcome to my basement, which is also practically my art craft area. I will go ahead and say this, if you are under the age of 18, I mean obviously you're not an adult, but for this craft, which happens to be this one, which is crayon melting on a pumpkin, you are most likely going to need adult supervision, okay? If you do it the way that I did it with my friends uh, Tori and Allie, who actually, it's another Tori and Allie, which is weird. I have two sets of friends of Tori and Allie. It's really weird. Anyways, they were here. Don't be alarmed if you see them in the video. They're, they're not gonna make an appearance. They just wanted to be their new crafts. Now, for this one, I actually did a Halloween color, like Spectrum, but obviously you can see that with this one, I, went, I just did galaxy colors and everything. Of course I did galaxy, come on. But what happened was this one I actually used a heat gun for, okay? Just because I'm blessed to be in a NASCAR family, so hey, I used an actual decal heat gun. If you have one of those around your house, make sure your mom or dad helps you with it. And be careful, very careful that it gets really hot, okay? You're gonna see me throughout this video how hot things can get with melted wax and a heat gun, okay? But for this one, I went ahead and I used a regular hair dryer and everything because I know that most of you will have more accessibility to an actual hair dryer as opposed to a heat gun. So heat gun, hair dryer, you're gonna see both in the video. All right, so let's start with our materials list. First, you're gonna need a white pumpkin. I got mine from Michaels, they're 50% off right now, so why not? Second material, you're gonna need some crayons. And not as many as me, I have a crayon obsession. But maybe about two packages of 24 packs of crayons, that's the way to do it. And make sure they're Crayola, everything else doesn't work. You're for sure gonna need a hot glue gun and extra glue sticks for your hot glue gun. You definitely might want some scissors or a razor just to cut the paper off the crayons. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I do one pumpkin with a heat dryer, you know, a hair dryer, just easy. Everyone has accessibility to a hair dryer. And then I do one pumpkin with my decal heat gun from my wonderful NASCAR family place. Wonderful garages. Wonderful. Yes. But just so we have both options. All right, first step, make sure you go through your crayons and pick out what colors you wanna go on top of your pumpkins to melt. Next step, be very careful when you start peeling off the crayons paper. All right, once you have all the crayons paper peeled off your crayons, make sure you wanna, maybe you wanna put them in a certain order on top of the pumpkin, maybe not. Okay, this was a classic fail because we should have paid attention to the directions just a little bit more. Guys, don't glue full crayons onto your pumpkin. It does not work. <laughs> we learned the hard way, as you will hear in a second. <laughs> ah! <laughs> you gotta keep that in there too. <laughs> so we were smart and we read the directions. Ladies and gentlemen, make sure you break your crayons in half before gluing them onto your actual pumpkin. <laughs> so yes, break them in half in an order that you want them to be and then glue them on top around the stem. Now, here we go. Take that baby outside. Yes, I do strongly suggest you take your pumpkin outside to melt it, whether you're using a heat gun or a hair dryer, because it gets extremely messy. And don't do it on the sidewalk, do it in the grass. We did ours on top of boxes, because messy safety first, I guess. <laughs> To make my pumpkin a little bit more cheery, I loosened up just a little bit of the wax around the stem and threw a bunch of glitter on top, because I like glitter. 
and it's pretty okay this pumpkin I did especially for you guys because I know that hair dryers are more you know accessible I don't know how many times I'm gonna say this in this video uh, everybody has a hair dryer in their house at least so I use this hair dryer for this pumpkin made a whole new pumpkin and it actually it was great it took a lot longer than our heat gun but I mean it still did an awesome job and yes I put glitter on it but you know what it really came out nice and here are our lovely little pumpkins. As you can see, the ones that are done in the October looking colors were done by us with heat guns. And then of course I got our galactical one right here that is done with a hair dryer. All of them came out looking fabulous. So I am really happy with these and I really hope you guys will give it a try. Just make sure you have parental guidance or help because glue and heat guns, they hurt. <laughs> Well, I hope that actually made sense and everything. I really hope it was helpful and everything and it's a fun craft that you can do. In case you can't cover pumpkins or you want to switch it up a little, leave in the comments below if you liked it. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it for sure. And make sure you follow me on Instagram and maybe, you know, tag me or tweet me a picture of your melted crayon art on a pumpkin. That applies to every craft I'm about to teach you for the rest of the week. Make sure you show me, tag me, let me see it. I want to revel in your wonderful masterpieces with you. But yes, I love you guys. I'll see y'all later. Bye!